Hi friends, good morning. Welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. If this is your first time visiting, hello, welcome. My name is Sierra and I'm an American living in England. Every week I'm making a video about my family's life here or whatever it is we have been doing on the weekly. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing another Lush unboxing today. And if you're a subscriber of mine, you've probably noticed on my channel that I haven't uploaded anything since my last Lush PR unboxing. I wish I had a better excuse for that, except for life has just been really busy and I just haven't had time. But anyways, the other day, Lush reached out to me again via my business email, which is down in the description if you'd like to contact me that way. Um, and they asked me if I wanted to do another collaboration. And as someone who's a dedicated Lushy and just maybe a little bit obsessed with Lush, I definitely said yes. And so not only did they send me this package, they also let me on a little secret on something that Lush isn't working on for a while and I'm going to share that with you today which is very exciting. So um, before we get into the unboxing I'm going to tell you the big news and then we'll do the unboxing. Is that cool? Okay, great. So the big news that Lush shared with me the other day is that Lush is finally on Discord, which if you don't know what Discord is, that's okay. I didn't start using Discord until a couple of years ago, and then for some reason I stopped for a while, and now I'm back on Discord again, and I've had a really good time with it. But if you don't know what Discord is, Discord is an online community similar to other online communities where you can um, create little groups called servers, and um, you can send text messages back and forth, you can do video chats, you can do community forums, that kind of thing. And really what it is, is a place for people to come together and talk about whatever it is they're interested in. Since Lush created a Discord for Lush specifically, Lush obviously is going to be talking about lots of Lushy things. They're probably going to share sneak peeks, do little forums on like favorites, and collect intel basically about like what they want to create next. So if that's something you're interested in, I will link Lush's Discord down in the description of my video if you want to check it out. I've been on there for now for a few days. I've been talking to some other Lushies, and it just makes me more excited about the product and the launches that are coming up. So once again, no obligation. If if you want to check out the discord link it's down there for the record i don't get anything from you guys clicking on the discord link but if you're watching this video you're probably a big lushy like i am and i would love to see you there we can engage talk about some lush stuff maybe we'll even get some sneak peeks and some say and what's going to come out next i don't know but join us there i can't wait to see you and we're going to get into this unboxing which is probably why you guys are here anyway right so let's check it out all right so they sent me this box it's a little bit different than the boxes that lush usually sends pr or just lush boxes out in general. Usually they send it out in like a classic Lush box, but maybe they're trying something new. The cardboard's a little bit thinner, which is exciting. So let's open her up, see what's inside. So inside the box, they sent me this really pretty box. Wow, this is so cute. I think I'm gonna save it and put it in the background or something, but oh my gosh, it's adorable. And it looks like it's actually hand painted with like the Lush writing, which is really cool. And the stickers are real. So maybe I can take them off and like stick them other places. I don't know but that's really exciting and it looks like it opens up this way just like one of their gift sets actually i wonder if this is like going to be a gift set i don't know we'll see but i'm excited to see what's in here according to the email they sent they did say they were going to send me a bunch of retro products so hopefully there'll be things in here i've never seen before things that haven't been seen in a while i don't know but let's see what's inside so first item out of the box is a pair of lush socks which is very exciting. It's actually really warm today. I don't know why I wore this jacket for the video. I guess I wanted to look cute for you guys or whatever, but um, the Lush socks are super adorable and they're gonna go really well in the evenings when it's a bit chillier here. As you guys can see, they're the bright yellow and orange neon colors and they have the original Lush emblem on them, which is really cute. So I kind of want to put these on now, but I also kind of just want to save them. I don't know. Okay, next item out of the box is a bath product. Ooh, and it appears to be... I think it is the Space Girl Bath Bomb based on the sticker, but let's just check it out just in case because what if they didn't actually put this in here? What if they just have a cute sticker on it? I don't know, but it is, I don't wanna rip it. It's gonna be so pretty. Oh, here we go. Oh, it is the Space Girl Bath Bomb. Oh my gosh, you guys, so pretty. Uh, my finger actually rubbed off some of the prettiness, but look how fun that is. And Space Girl smells so good. I've heard a lot of people say different things about the scent, but to me it kind of smells like I don't know like sweet candy and like maybe like not skittles but like um like pixie sticks to me so a space girl is grapefruit oil and almond essential oil and it has popping candy inside so that's what gives it that really lovely sweet citrusy smell also i don't know if you guys have seen the father's aid range or not but space girl shares its scent or the scent of the blue moon soap that came out for father's Aid is the same scent as space girl so that's awesome next product in the box is <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, I actually was just at the Lush store the other day speaking to someone about this. They sent me the Lush 9 to 5 
cleanser which like nine to five facial cleanser is a ritual product that was discontinued probably about a year ago and I was really upset about it because nine to five for the longest time was my go-to makeup remover and a facial cleanser I love this one a lot because it has a very gentle cleansing as well as removes makeup even waterproof makeup which is awesome but thank you guys that's amazing all right next product from the box is a black pot product and it is the Odie Creamy Dreamy Shower Gel or Shower Cream? Yeah, Odie Creamy Dreamy Shower Cream, which back in the day, Odie Creamy Dreamy used to come in a bottle like this and it was a little bit bigger, but Odie Creamy Dreamy is one of my favorite shower creams. Again, it was discontinued a few years ago and I was really upset about it because Odie Creamy Dreamy is a very gentle, really nice, lovely shower cream that is not for people with eczema but I really enjoyed it for my eczema prone skin because it's very gentle and cleansing and the it has oatmeal in it and the oatmeal inside acts kind of like a gentle exfoliator and also a calming agent so if your skin gets really angry and irritated um, especially with the weird weather right now this is an amazing product for you so thank you guys I love this actually speaking of warm weather it's getting kind of hot in here so I'm gonna take off this jacket moving on to the next product in the box is oh I think it's a shower gel it is. It is the Flying Fox Shower Gel. Flying Fox Shower Gel, again, all of these are retro products, but I've never actually had a chance to try Flying Fox, so it's very exciting. So I'm going to open up and smell it first, and then I'll tell you guys the scent description. Um, I know it's going to be amazing, because I've heard that it's amazing, so let's see. Oh my gosh, that is really good. It kind of smells like what you would expect if you walked into like a flower shop. Do you know what I mean? Like It just smells like garden but like in a good way like all kinds of flowers so the main ingredients in the flying flock shower gel are all florals so it is scented with jasmine flower infusion um jasmine absolute ylang ylang oil cypress oil and palm rosa oil which i don't even know what palm rosa is but whatever it is it makes the shower gel sound amazing and smell amazing so i'm gonna give it one more sniff and then i'm gonna show you the last product because Based on how amazing everything this box has been so far, I think it's going to be even better. And then the last and final product in the box is one more shower gel in the 250ml size, and it is the Sonic Death Monkey Shower Gel, which is a product I've never tried before, but I have been dying to cry. I have heard that it's supposed to be like chocolate and coffee and just like amazing and deliciousness, so I'm going to open it up for you guys first and give it a smell, and then tell you guys all about the ingredients. So here we go, a historic moment. Oh my gosh, it is like cafe mocha scented kind of so the main ingredients in sonic death monkey are organic lily butter um kupaku butter orange filler absolute and that's it so i don't know how they make it smell like chocolate and coffee but on the bottom it says roll out of bed and straight into the arms of a coffee and a cocoa powder embrace so i guess maybe it's the butters in there that give it like that like chocolatey smell and the citrus and the orange gives it maybe like that sweet smell I'm not really sure but this is incredible overall this box wow I don't even know what to say you guys I'm just so excited about this lush thank you guys so much um wow so now's the time in the video where I have to choose a favorite product from the box which is really hard because I really like all of them can I pick all of them is that allowed Probably not. Okay, so my favorite item in the box, I'd probably say is the 9 to 5 cleanser. And the reason I say that is because not only is 9 to 5 one of my favorite cleansers, but also because I've really been enjoying the Star Clock Cleanser, which is another retro product that came in the subscription box the last time I think it was I made a subscription unboxing video. At the Lush store the other day, I was talking about how I was a little bit worried that my Starcraft was like a third of the way gone, but now I have this, which is really exciting. So that's very awesome. And then I don't know if I can pick a least favorite. I guess maybe the socks only because they're not a bath product they're amazing I really love them but they're not bath product y so I don't know if that's a good answer but I sorry if that's not a good answer but before I close this out I just want to say one more time thank you to Lush and Finley and Jasmine for reaching out to me and asking me if I want to be part of this collaboration yes of course I love your company I love everything that you stand for and I especially love the opportunity to have a little bit more say in what you guys are doing which is amazing so thank you also for creating the discord so anyone who's watching at this point still in the video I want to thank you guys also for being here and also if you haven't had a chance to check out the Lush Discord yet please make sure that you do so in the description of the video I'll leave a little link for you once again I get nothing for it but I think it'd be really fun for all of us to meet up there and have a little Lush party so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe below and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching